What's up, girl? Hey, honey. How you doing? Okay. Have Look, a guest. We have a guest today. <laughs> this is Trisha. Trisha Woodchit. And she is a filmmaker here in Yay! Dallas, Fort Worth. And we not have only many here. a filmmaker, mm -hmm. she is one of the filmmakers behind Carter High, which is coming out at the end of the month. And tells the story of the infamous Carter High team in 88. And that's a Dallas ISD school. Yes. So, and I do cover education, so I'm very interested right. in Carter High. And I'm going to get out there and interview the kids, and I'm sure they're excited. And, yeah. you know, we'll see if they plan on going. Maybe there's somebody out there that just might get them all at the movie theater and buy tickets for them to get there. Maybe. I wonder if we can get DISD to do that. You think so? We think, well, you know, yeah. you know what? I was thinking that. I was thinking maybe we could just let the... Um, New soup, the new interim superintendent, dude, Michael Hinojosa. Hinojosa, let him know about it. And he's on a goodwill tour and he's trying mm -hmm. to keep the job. Well, see, I plan, on, <laughs> I plan on writing about it because uh -huh. uh, I'm going to go and try to find some of these yeah. the players. I'm they're sure they're around here. Yeah. Um, Roderick DeWitt, um, he says they have a standing date to meet for breakfast mm -hmm. all the time. And I well, was so you've done a little homework on this. Well, you know, that's what I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 but I figure, you know, if they've got a little breakfast club going, maybe they have a little premier club about that. I like Are there any plans club. for anything like that, like a Dallas area premiere? Do you know? Yes. Actually, um, the the release for Dallas and Houston is October 30th. Okay. okay. And so we need okay. everyone um, to come out and participate just like everyone did for Straight Outta Compton. Okay. Oh, yes. Come yes. out for Carter High. Right. I Especially Carter the High. local folks. This is a and local exactly. thing. This is Oak Cliff. <laughs> exactly. We need to show out. We right. need to show out. Exactly. We need to do we like, to be there. you know what would be great? A pep rally. To fight. Uh, Listen to that. Girl. Or like a review. You know, like, like, a right. like, like a little review. I'm working on my other career. Mm -hmm. Plan <laughs> B. Plan B. <laughs> but okay. Your career is very interesting to me. Yes. Because you started really from a notion mm -hmm. just hey I want to make film tell, tell us something about that so um, I started uh, working uh, well actually I owned a, a publishing company with an ex-business partner um, so we came across a, a book and I really loved the concept of this book so after I finished editing I talked to the author and I was like hey I want to film your book but at the time uh, we didn't have any experience uh, in feature films, right. so we went and shot two shorts. Um, they were successful, so mm. after that, I was just like, you know, let's go do it. I put together a skeleton crew. We did an audition and shot the movie Circles. Mm. Um, right here. Right here. And um, that was the first feature film. <laughs> and this is about where they have HIV, right? HIV, they, yeah. Uh, I guess they're spreading it around. They are spreading it around. And it was yes. accepted to a couple of film festivals? Right, um, it was accepted at the um, 2013 Pan-African Film Festival, which that was like huge. Right. You know, it was a that really big huge. deal. Yeah. And huge. then the uh, Urban Suburban in Philadelphia, and it's been a couple more, okay. but I've made like a few films since then. and right. been to a couple other film festivals, oh, so I can't remember. Old, so this is, this is, you're so <laughs> impressive. This is, this is really impressive to me, especially in film circles because to go from that to Carter High which features some of the biggest names I mean the queen black Trish Vivica Fox is in it <laughs> I know <laughs> yes I saw and, that and you got Charles S. Dutton mm -hmm. who is by all accounts one of the best actors of his generation and he's one of the kindest man he's, yes. he's awesome he always sings the trailer it. is wonderful the trailer just yeah. makes you want to just I can't wait. Yeah, I even watched. I watched it a couple. Times. I even watched the video for Doral Music did mm -hmm, what he's mm -hmm. calling the title track, and you know, I like the fact that you guys came and got a hometown rapper to exactly. to do the song. So it real feel it feels really authentic because it's got mm -hmm. the Dallas sound. It's got the Dallas. Did, was any of it shot here? The whole movie was shot here. The whole here. movie? Yeah. Why didn't I the know whole, that? Yeah, the whole movie was shot in Dallas and in Fort Worth. I need to yeah. know this that. This is straight up local. Wow. Oh, yeah. I love, love yeah. this. We're so glad you're here. Um, oh, okay. I can't wait to get out there to the school and see how the kids are feeling about it. Right. The other thing that I was reading about you and the other thing that I really love was that you knew you were like, I've always been a producer. You looked at your career mm -hmm. and everything in your life had prepared you for the moment. Right. So what was it like stepping out into traffic, so to say? Um, it was exciting. It was, 
I, I come from a project management background, so mm -hmm. for me it was no different than you know managing a, a, a multi-million dollar project in corporate America. So you have lots of moving components. In film, you have lots of moving components. You have budgets. You have schedules. So it, it's, it was the same thing. Um, it was more exciting for me right. because you, you don't, you're not sitting behind a desk. Okay. You know, you're moving yeah. around and you are putting together something that somebody can see. That's that other, you know, that people can actually be entertained by instead of okay. being entertained by an a software application. Right. You know. Right. <laughs> exactly. Or trying to be. No. I know you've got some other projects coming up. Mm -hmm. And Jericho. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. um, Jericho, um, it's it's still in post right now. Still in post. Yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. do you have things planned p past that? Are you staying local? Yeah. Actually, um, I've teamed up with uh, the producer for Carter High, mm -hmm. Kelly Gray, um, and then um, up and coming writer producer uh, Don Morgan, and we're uh, working on a, a short film called Half B, which Don wrote. Um, it's a it's it's a teen movie. Okay, um, so on. it's it's really cute. Um, it's a short for now, but we do have a full feature that's attached to it. Okay. So we'll be filming that at the beginning of October, awesome. and I'm actually directing, and then Kelly and Don are producing, wow, and then directing. We, yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be great. And then we have a, um, I have another short film called The Storyteller that's also attached to oh. um, a full feature that's written by novelist uh, Brian C. Conley. Mm -hmm. He's uh, a phenomenal writer. Um, I actually shot two short films with uh, Brian, Things You Should Know About Me and um, Nothing At All, and both of those are award-winning uh, short oh, wow. films. Do you have a website with all of your... I do. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Uh, TigerEyeFilms.co, C O, okay. or my name, TrishaWidget.com. Okay. okay. Yeah. Wow. Um, now, I'm really, really interested in this initiative you're starting called Film Cloud. Okay. This is, this is sounds like a game changer to me. It is for people getting their films out. Mm -hmm. Like, who who's going to have to like beat the bushes on crowdsource now? Yeah, so um, Film Cloud is, um, it's a cloud for independent filmmakers, and it's a cloud for uh, people who love independent films. You know, in today's time, we know that yeah. we, as independent filmmakers, put out more um, movies than studios. Mm -hmm. But then once mm -hmm. our movies are complete, and whether or not they go to the film festivals afterwards, our movies are shelved. We have mm -hmm. no right. place to, to house our movies. and. Mm -hmm and nowhere for anybody to see them. So Film Cloud is that avenue, that multicultural avenue that allows people to now to go watch your content um, while it's still profit sharing for independent right. filmmakers. And you know, it's, it's a place where we yes. as independent filmmakers can say, hey, go watch our movie here. And then we also are partnering yeah. up with some um, theaters okay. so that some of those that's films great. can actually be screened. So your oh, movie can really be good. more that's than wonderful. just an interact or, or a, a, an online um, release. I okay, idea. I do yeah. love the idea. I mean, it's been really, really great to have you here. Are you gonna Thank stay you. with us while we shoot from the hip? I, I'm like gonna we stay do? here, yes. All right, welcome it's to time. From the Hip. Welcome to Thank From the Hip. Tommy, you ready? <laughs> ready, yeah. You know, we always talk about Empire first, but we do. I'm caught up on the have and have not. This have is not. amazing. You, got to <laughs> you had to be about four shows behind. This I is was, great. and I watched all of them. Tyler Perry's I Have and Have Not. Sitting like this. So is and it I'm better than last that. season? And okay, here's what I think happened. Okay. Tyler went to visit his kinfolk and wrote down everything that his <laughs> auntie and them said. <laughs> And Tyler then Perry, put, that is her saying that, that is not me. And then put it, I'm just saying. And, See, and, there you go, messing with Tyler Perry. No. We but, was drunk. but that's why I like it, because listen, I'm going to tell you, you know, okay, the other day, Hannah said on the show, the lady was like, oh, you need to talk to someone. So she's like, I don't have to talk to them, I'm going to talk to Jesus. You know what? <laughs> my mama said that to me just yesterday. Just yesterday on the phone. Well, she's mom, very religious on mom, the show. Right. You know that. My mother said, my mother said, I don't have to talk to anybody. I'm going to talk to Jesus. That's <laughs> That's what she did. I love your parents. <laughs> Mom, I love you. But see, I think there's a lesson there. Inspiring You're filmmakers, right. step right. out into the traffic like Trisha Hill, 
and listen to your elders like Tyler Perry. Well, what advice would you give young people that want to start? I mean, I'm sure it was challenging for you to start, you know, doing films and all this stuff. How do you? What advice would you give someone like at our Booker T, our arts magnet yeah. school? We have a lot of talent. Just go do that. it. Yep. I mean, it's just as simple as that. that. Hashtag just, just go, go do it. it. <laughs> right. Just we got go us a hashtag. We got us a hashtag. <laughs> it's a hashtag moment for the day. And I always answer comments, I mean questions. So really? you know, if somebody has a question, they can always inbox me somewhere. Okay. All right. I'll answer. Are you All active right. on Twitter then? You'll mm -hmm. respond. I'm active. And okay, yeah, I'm active on Twitter, Instagram, okay. Facebook, fan page, all of that. All right, right now. now. Come on, um, our in, to Empire talking. News, all we got to say is we have a surprise next week. Is Ooh, it next week? I can't wait. No. The DVD is coming out, I think, on the 15th. Okay. This is the, another um, kind of surprise. Right. Ooh. The um, the show is starting on September 23rd, but Tarnell and I got an interview. Okay, I'll tell you about one of the you interviews I have. This no, no, no. Go ahead, I'm going to tell you about one. Tomorrow, I'm talking to Marissa Tomei, who is on season two of Empire, and they probably not going to want me to ask her this, but she's kind of going back to her element, being surrounded by all the folks, because remember, she was on a different world. Yeah, and what role, what, what is she, what's going to be her character? Do we know that yet? Let or? me research. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you get the hookup here. I and then, and then, I'm not going to tell you when, we're not going to tell you when, we're not going to tell you how, because it's private, but we are going to talk to Jamal. Yes, Jesse, Jesse Smollett. Smollett. <laughs> <laughs> On Empire. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I've been thinking of the questions I will ask. I know. And if you guys have questions for us, Hit us up on Twitter up. at Tonnell, at Don yeah. Bucks, and we will try to get those questions And answered. don't worry, I'm already going to ask him about them shiny shoes, because he might need to stop and wearing And he's got those. the beard thing going I know, now. You know, like, is that part of the new it's persona right. on the show? We're trying to, we, it's some stuff we've, we're already ready for. Oh, I can't wait. But okay. Like, park okay. okay. Tonnell, you watched the Carmichael's again? Uh, I did not watch it this week. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she bailed on me. Okay, I'm Let's, sorry, we won't Carl even talk. Michaels. We won't even the, talk. The about first it. couple episodes were so forced mm -hmm. to me. You know, Loretta Devine. I love her. This was and without her, I yeah. wouldn't even have watched the first. These were a little episodes. better because it was more Loretta and more D David Allen Greer because I think they're realizing that. Um, Carmichael, Gerard Carmichael, just mm -hmm. cannot hold up the show on his own because he's like so blonde. Next Where did he come from? Girl, he like a pool of sweat by him. <laughs> he's so wrong. <laughs> I'm just Don saying. is unhinged today. <laughs> Okay. Where did he come from? Who is he? He's a stand-up comedian who happened to get his own show. Well, we need to put him back on the comedian's side. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're rubbing off on me. I'm rubbing off on you. I'm sorry, Mr. Carmichael. I am. But oh it's, not, it's not happening. It's okay, 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 okay. Let's and talk. I'm not a mean person. Okay, let's talk honest. about someone who we can agree on that we love. Idris Elba. Oh, Ooh, all right. he's See, fine, what do you girl. want to say about him? Oh, he's <laughs> fine. Yeah, like Here's him. what I want to say: <laughs> that the um, the Ian Fleming estate got this guy right, right, to right. write the new Bond books. Mm -hmm. The guy decides to say that he that Idris Elba is too street. To oh, play Bond. First of all, that's cold. Don't cold switch on me because I can peep you. <laughs> She about to boycott the Look, new film, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm an educated black woman. Uh-oh. You know. Now we throw down. I got you. I know what two street means. You All I want to know is have you seen that man in a suit? You talking about he too street? I know. Honey. That's, an, that's I mean, another. He doesn't have to say anything. No, doesn't have no, to just put on a suit and just. He sit would have been a top uh, James Bond look, too. You he know could, it. He could walk in with his hand in that right suit pocket, and he wouldn't even have to say double and seven. He a word. Like that too. You would know his right. name. Matter of fact, he doesn't even need any lines in the movie. Right. He can walk really? in every he can scene just and walk just stand in every there. Scene and just what stand a missed there. opportunity. Stand, sit, shoot, whatever. But the fact that he said that, and then I'm so that's a cold word for saying he's hood. Thank you. Exactly. You know, I am so tired of people saying this stuff and they're coming back and apologize and thinking I'm going to take your apology. No, I'm not taking this it's one. It's too wrong. It's I too, took it's the one not. you gave me for the sisters on the wine train. I am not taking this one because you were wrong because it's Idris Elba and he can do no wrong. Exactly. Girl, <laughs> I, I want to say <laughs> amen. I, say, yeah. I think I need to say amen right quick. Jesus. <laughs> your mama's going to have your butt. <laughs> no, right, well, right. thinking of apology. Oh, no, no. Speaking of Jesus. What? Speaking of Jesus, this is, this is how... Idris can do anything he want. Last night I watched about a 10-year-old movie called The Gospel. I woke up 1.30 in the morning, it was on. 
Idris, Idrissa Elba, was playing a preacher. If he can play a preacher and get away with it, I'm sure he can Girl, play, he can play any seven. Role. All double on seven got to do is hold the gun. Well, who's going to play double on seven? They that don't know. Sense. But Daniel Craig, who plays him now. Yes. Right. Oh. <laughs> exactly. I know. He Tommy, could just how many pictures there. can you find of Idris Elba in a suit? In a suit. 12. Tommy. Twelve. <laughs> all right. We gonna, let's just flip all twelve of them. Man, well, now that we're talking about apologies, let's talk about this London clinic that accidentally oh, released the, the names of 700 patients about their AIDS status. 700 patients. Wow. Oh, Lord. I, that's that's patients. tough. That, I what, mean, really? What, I guess there'll be a lawsuit, you know, There's going to be 700 lawsuits. I wonder if they didn't tell their other half if they're positive. 700 they divorces. <laughs> Or seven hundred. I'm gonna murders. move on right. now. Or you seven, got that right. Right. <laughs> Look, we are here. You need to come back. This is like that. This is like that one deal when the uh, you could go cheat and get on. What's that? Ashley Madison. Ashley Madison. Madison? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, like you that. know what? Only on this show could we tie Ashley Madison to the release of eighties <laughs> names. Ew. Donald Trump. Let's go back to him. Oh, yeah. We got to get on. Trump. We got to talk to Trump. We Which is, talk to Trump. He signed the deal. He has that signed he would the not... GOP loyalty pledge, saying that he would not run as a third party. Which is a shocker. It, that was his leverage. Not only is it, is it a shocker, it scares the heck out of me because that means that they're actually taking him seriously. Oh, they're taking him seriously. And that bothers me because okay, him. Jeb Bush said he would support Trump if he's the see, you know the candidate. And him, and now Ben Carson is up there in the polls with him. Wait, wait, let's talk about Ben Carson just for a hot second, Tommy. I know Lord, we're running have on mercy, time Jesus. Here. Forgive me for this, <laughs> uh -huh. but I need to segue into say, Ben Carson. Like, say it. This give me a quick thought on it. Uh -huh. One word. How would you describe Ben Carson? <laughs> I got two, but I can't say them on. <laughs> Let's move on. Well, okay. Here's what I got to say. Because I'm scared what she might say. I think what happened, I think what happened was Ben Carson was like, you know what? I'm pretty out there myself. Mm -hmm. And I thought I was the craziest one in this group. Heck, I thought Ted Cruz was the craziest one in that group. But, <laughs> but they made Cruz look like Jimmy Carter. And that's, looking real and that's right hard. Now. And Here's my thing. I think Ben looked up and was like, you know what? I got to up the crazy a little bit. Ben said, I'm a doctor. There ain't no cure for crazy, but I guess you're joking. <laughs> I'm just saying. Dude, you know, I'm wrong for that. I'm just saying. I don't you know, know what to think of the brother. You can't cure crazy. I don't know what to think of the brother. I mean, he just kind of emerged. He's a doctor. He's smart and everything, but I really don't know. You know what? What to think of him? He can fix my nerves. He's a neurosurgeon. Mm -hmm. He can't fix my country. <laughs> On that note, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Carson, we got a lot of stuff going on in the newspaper. We got a lot of this okay. in the newspaper. Christian Taylor's um, autopsy the Arlington uh, student, the, kid the college kid Arlington. that got one. Right. It turns out he had something in his system that caused hallucin yeah, some kind hallucinations. Of I, which did that kinda, surprise anybody? That the way he was running around so erratic and everything. Yeah, and the, and the way his whole persona changed leading up to that spoke to me of addiction of some sort. Or he that, just he just tried something and he wasn't. Used yeah, to, that's. That's what happens when right, people right. start getting addicted to things. Mm -hmm. Paranoia shows up. Or you could have went to a party and, and somebody changing. said, try this. Or, right, you know, or, or just, just bad That's Molly. unfortunate. Young guy, about what, 19 or so. I yeah, think. and so, you know. But that's today's uh, Dallas that's Morning today's News. Dallas Morning uh, News. Thursday's Dallas Morning News. And that app you Dallas love so much. Com. Download the app. It is a wonderful app. Read this stuff. Yeah. Because, and y'all uh, remember Chris Wagner was here last week, and he's got that mixed media podcast. And I work on the listening podcast, which is which is our new pop music podcast, and it's really great. And I talk a lot, and and <laughs> and like I do here. <laughs> well, <laughs> and we are so glad you came to visit with us, Trisha. Now having. tell us, remind us about Carter the show High. again. Remind when is it coming Carter out? Again? So Carter High. Dallas, okay. Houston, October 30th. Okay. Oh, yes. Um, October 30th. November 6th is LA, um, New York, and Atlanta. Ooh, okay. And then nationwide, November 13th, we need 
everyone to come out and Show support. Out. Okay. Everyone. Yeah. Um, visit local. visit the website right. thecarterhighmovie.com dot com. Okay. And social media is Carter High the movie dot com. And they're gonna get a trailer on these sites too, right? Absolutely, to absolutely. That. And the trailer just made me want to dig out my old cheerleader skirt. Y'all don't want me to do that, but the trailer made me want to do it. Don't use a cheerleader. Yes, I was a competitive cheerleader. Oh, wow. that's Girl, that's so why. Nice. That's my, my. That's why my whip skills are level three. <laughs> oh. Oh, and I also want to right add that the, uh, one of the most fascinating things about the movie also is that it's written and directed by one of the football players oh. that was on the team, Arthur Maham, Arthur Jordan Maham. Yes. Where, no, yes. where is he at now? Is he local still? Yeah, What's he's it? here. I can hook you up. Please do. Yes, yes. yes. because yes. I want to write a story about yes. this. Yes, she he would love it. it. She wants yes. to write I wanna, a story. I don't want to go to the school, kind of get the kids involved yeah. and see, you know, I will, energize. I will hook you up And I just want to be an intern. Too. Yes. yes. <laughs> I think wow. the oldest intern. <laughs> oh, girl, you no, suck. Wow, this, this was, I'm glad this to was that. so I'm much fun. That. Will you come Thank back? You. I absolutely will. Please okay. I hope back. we didn't scare you. No, no, I had fun. Sometimes. Okay, good. We can, yeah. As long as we talk about Idris one more time. Okay, we, we Idris. Will. We will. One I'll more suit picture, Tommy. You got it. All right. <laughs> yeah. Thank make sure. you. <laughs> Trisha, thank you so much thank for joining us. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. We cannot wait to see Carl die. Right.